So here we are with a double side stepper tutorial. Um, it's just really going over how to fold the card blank and what all the elements look like. So eventually we're going to end up with something that's folded like this. And I've done this so I can just quickly show you, I've actually written on it, mountain and valley. So I've got a reference to how it actually works. Now I would advise or, uh, or any, with any shaped card to actually do this to cut a one out in cardstock, actually fold it and then make notes on it of which way to do it and then keep it with the die. It's what I do when I, with mine at home so I know how to build it again the next time I come round to it. So here we have the actual die set. Now as you can see we've got lots of elements on here, um, lots and lots of layers. So firstly, <clears throat> If I lift that piece up like so, I'm just going to take all of these pieces off. These are all my mats and layers that I've cut out so I could just show you where the elements go. So first of all, this is our actual card blank. So pop it onto your card, run it through your machine and then take that away. And yes, it does look a bit like a ladder that stopped and it, that is right. There isn't anything missing. That is actually how it should be. Okay, so I'm going to pop that back on my mat. Now we've got our card blank. So this is where I'm going to bring in the white one that I've already folded. So I've already put on mountain M and V's. So M is my mountain fold, V is my valley fold. So it's really, really easy. So to start off with, I'm going to just fold on these two score lines like so because I know they are my mountains. And then I've got a mountain fold, like so. The next one is a valley. The next one is a mountain. The next one is a valley. The next one is a mountain, okay? And then you would have a scoring tool and you would score all of those down. So when it stands up, this is the shape that we're actually looking at. So we've then got lots and lots of layers here then to be able to put mats and layers on. We've got a lot that we can work with. So to actually show you all these pieces, I'm going to lie that flat and bring back in my die set. So first of all, on this side, we can work with it and pop this. So this is this die, okay, which then creates this matte layer. But the good thing about this stepper card is that we don't have to work with it this way. We can actually flip it over and work with it from either side. So it's entirely up to you which way you want to work the card, okay? It's nothing, so you can work them either way. Or you can actually decorate both sides if you wanted to. So that is that one. So we've got those mats and layers. I've then gone ahead and actually cut extra mats and layers out and I've done these in quite a strong colour so you can see where we're going. So we've got these ones and these are actually going to fit onto this U-shape matte layer and on here again we've got some more that would fit on this side so we've got two different patterns. We've got the arched and we've got the scallop that will fit either side. Okay, so if I then take that away and that away and bring in these pieces, it means that we can take this away and we don't even have to use this so that the, the permutations of actually using all these dies are massive because you can just keep going and going and going. So now I've taken this away. The reason I've taken it away is if I pop that back on there, that matte layer is a bit big. Now you can just use those matte layers instead, but it gives you another alternative. So you would decorate both sides the same. Then also we've got the squares, which is these elements, or the little rectangles that fit on there. And I've cut every one that's a matte and layer. Or we've also got these pieces. Okay, so all these are elements. We could really make this card super super fancy because of everything we can put on this so let's take that away 
bring this back in bring in these arches so remember all of these you would cut twice a mirror image on the other side or we can then also be matting the layer in on this side so then all of these put there's so much it's so versatile but then we don't have to use them as they are I could take that one away pop that one on there and use the white one so again I wouldn't even like to think how many ways we can use these as individual items so I'm just going to pop that to one side so just here are what I would use to maybe decorate this piece if it was if I took away my U shape this piece here are these elements but then you've got similar size again with a scalloped edge these here are my little rectangles but again we've got similar size with a scalloped edge we've got the same mirror imaged so you can alternate these again exactly as I did we've got the U shape die that creates this piece that you can then build up all your dies on each side and then again we've got these two that mat on top of here perfectly so there's lots and lots of ways of using this it's then up to you which combination and where you place them and that's just a brief tutorial how to use the die